I'm gonna show you five tips that can instantly improve the quality of the videos that you're making with your mobile phone. And these tips are in no particular order, but they are very important. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video so you don't miss out on one of them that can help you make better content. And if you're new to the channel, welcome, thanks for stopping by. If you wanna learn how to make better content on your phone or be a mobile YouTuber, be sure to hit that subscribe button followed by the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. And if you're not new to the channel, thanks for coming back and supporting the channel. You rock. So the first thing you wanna keep in mind is that if you can, use the lens, use the camera on the back of your phone. If you use the camera on the front of your phone, you're gonna have less megapixels and the image quality isn't going to be as good. The lens is on the back of the phone, the camera's on the back of the phone. These are really, really good. So this is the one that you wanna shoot with. And when you use this lens, you wanna make sure that you go into the settings of your phone and choose the highest possible quality image that you can use for your video recorder. The next thing you wanna be mindful of is stability. Look, I'm guilty of this too, and I know a lot of people are out there, they're shooting their selfie videos with one hand, and that's fine, you can do that, but just make sure that you're mindful of how much shake is going into your phone. Be mindful of how sturdy your arm is. If you can hold it with two hands, that's even better. Now, there's lots of other ways to make your phone stable. You can use a gimbal or you can use a tripod. I always keep this little mini tripod by Joby in my backpack everywhere I go, and your phone simply slips into the top of it, and you can set it down and you can use these little grips here to literally wrap it around anything you want. You can wrap it around a railing. I've even wrapped it around a doorknob. You can get really creative on where you can put your phone to record by using this sort of a tripod. You can also use a larger tripod. I know a lot of you are standing up and you're doing more talking head style videos. You can use a larger tripod for that. Put your phone on the top, turn it around and record yourself. This makes for a really stable solution. Now, one of the most important things is your audio. Look, if you've got good video, that's great, but if your audio is bad, it is going to ruin your video. You can see right here, I'm wearing a lapel microphone or a lavalier mic. And by the way, I'm gonna put a link to a video that I made right there where I go over a couple different lavalier microphones. And my personal favorite is the Boya BYM1 microphone. So go there, check that video out and see what it sounds like. But there's a lot of different mics to choose from. There's shotgun microphones, lavalier microphones, or you can just use a microphone in your phone if you have one of the newer phones. It's not gonna be as crispy as you want it to be, but if that's all you have, by all means, use that and get started. But if you can't afford a microphone, I highly recommend getting one. Another thing you wanna keep in mind is being creative with your camera. Try to find different camera angles to shoot in. Try to find ways to focus in on different parts of the subject that you're shooting. For example, you can do wide shots, you can do macro shots and get in really close. For example, I'm driving a car, you can come in and zoom in on my hand or you can zoom in on my fingers changing the radio station. So if you wanna see just how creative somebody can be, I highly recommend watching Breaking Bad. Watch a couple of the episodes and pay attention to the angles that they use with their camera. Look at the different ways they use the camera. And by the way, they're doing this with full-size cameras, but you can do all of this on your phone. So be as creative as you can be. Really kind of think outside of the box on this one and think creatively. The next thing I wanna talk about is lighting. It is so important, it is crucial that you light yourself or you light your subject. Now I'm outside, this is my favorite type of lighting. It's cloudy outside, the sun is not harsh. You don't wanna shoot outside in harsh sunlight. That isn't very flattering on you or your subject. So if you're gonna shoot outside, try to look for some shade or shoot outside when it's a little bit cloudy. And if you think you have to spend a lot of money on studio lighting, that simply isn't the case. You can use natural light from outside. You can use the lights that you have inside of your house, or you can come to a place like Home Depot and you can buy work lights that clip on. This one just clamps on to anywhere you want it. You can put it on a chair, you can put it on top of a door, you can clip it on anything you want. Look, this one is $8, this one's $11. These things are really inexpensive and you just put household bulbs inside of them. Get a couple of these to light up your area and you're good to go. And if you wanna go with a minimal light setup, just like one light, you can come to a hobby store and get foam board like this and put it opposite your light. So if you have light on one side, you can set this on the other and your light's going to reflect off of this. It's gonna soften the light and bounce back on your subject or you. This can actually make it really flattering. And this stuff is really cheap. At this shop, it is $6 for this piece. And they also have black. So if you have too much light, <laughs> that's going on the end of the table. Yeah. <laughs> so if the problem is you have too much light or you wanna stop light from bouncing, you use black, you can use black foam core, black cardboard, black paper, black curtains, black fabric, whatever you wanna do. But this is an awesome thing to have in addition to the white. Everyone should have foam core or something like this in their studio. 
Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to make better content on your phone or be a mobile YouTuber, be sure to hit that subscribe button followed by the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. And I'll see you in the next video.